excited are you to be here tonight as, with the final project on show? Yeah, am I excited? Am I excited? Is the dog have fleas? <laughs> am I excited? I'm over the moon. I have to pinch myself. I can't believe that from a phone call from David a year and a half ago to ask if he could buy a picture, now here we are with this three of the students here i'm just you know i'm like a, i'm like a parent you know seeing my kids getting double honors degrees it's so wonderful i mean the pictures are just you know they're great i'm prejudiced yes i can't be objective at all but they really are good and you can know. you tell us a bit about the whole experience for you going over there teaching them everything what what the next two hours you want go, i don't go know for it in a few and <laughs> sum it up for just us in the sum it up um it just um it was a constant surprise in the best of sense just all of a sudden it was meant to happen because coincidences happen all the time where people fell into place i mean just a very short story that my son has a who lives in new zealand now whose good friend is a filmmaker contacted me when i was in south africa i had no idea he worked for espn he's brazilian one of our students is port is 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 from from um, angola he's brazil you know he speaks portuguese david speaks portuguese so we had this whole big story for ESPN Brazil that came out of the blue. Those sort of things happened all the time. I, to be honest, my real fear at the beginning was the kids would just sort of take happy snaps, pretty pictures of babies and kitty cats and flowers, and which is all nice. And look at the pictures in there. Some of them are really gritty, really gutsy pictures, the kind of reportage that I cut my teeth on and I really love about photography. And they've done it. And some of them, not all of them, and the real is some of them are actually making a living taking photographs now. And that, to me, the whole point of the program was feed your family with feed, no, feed your cat, feed your family with your camera. And some of them are doing that now. So, so an amazing I'm, achievement. I'm happy. Amazing. I'm very, very happy. Yeah. And so, how important really is it? Well, this is a pure example of taking your talents and what you have over here into other countries like Johannesburg. Uh, whatever I can do to give. I mean, when I was starting photography, so many people gave to me, and now I'm of a shall I say over 39 years old now and I want to give back to you know the community to world and and I love teaching I'm a, you know I'm a working professional but I love teaching I, I get a buzz out of it and to see that that's the greatest buzz you can have and them kids coming from with so little we went to visit their houses a lot of the time we went into a place called Deep Sloot which not many people know everyone knows about Soweto but Deep Sloot is pretty rough pretty hard and people were so kind and so generous to there and the pictures were so powerful um, and I'm just so pleased and to me it was a real experience yeah. you know you can read about poverty and you can see all the TV shows about it but when you're in a town where the sewage runs right below you and rats are running around it's pretty you know takes your breath away but the vibe was so good and people were so kind and so generous to us invited us into their homes had nothing invited us in cups of tea and everything it's very moving. Now we hope through the sale of pictures and the books and good publicity we're getting that we can continue to raise enough money to do another program. Maybe tying in with the Olympics, bring it home, work with kids in the East End, uh, go back to South Africa. I've fallen in love with South Africa. I did. I'd never been before. Um, you know, anywhere that we can go where we can work with kids, young people to help them learn to feed their families with their cameras. That's what we want to it do. It really is an amazing experience. Now, over the years, photography has changed. We now see loads of people taking pictures on their, uh, their camera phones. Over the years, how has your kind of concept and inspiration for photography changed? Well, it's, it is always about good imagery. And uh, yes, call me a bit old fashioned. I am probably a little bit of a snob that I think a Leica and Triax is really what photography is all about. But um, I've embraced digital and it is amazing. There is a bit of, I think, diminishing because it's sort of, it's, it's anyone can take a picture. No, anyone can use a camera, yes. But to have the patience to create a good vision. And I feel that, you know, if you do it on an iPhone or a digi camera or your mobile phone, if it's a good strong image with a lot of guts and a lot of heart, then that's important. Technically, it doesn't matter. We do it with a box brownie or an iPhone. I don't care. If you put your heart into it, that's the important thing about the picture. Amazing. And going forward, you mentioned projects in the East End for the Olympics. Anything else that you can take from this to go forward? 
I, I don't know. I mean, we, we have a, we have a, I can't really say. We have a couple feelers out, a couple people. We might be doing something in South America tied in with a, a football team that can sponsor us. We'd love to go back to South Africa, to Durban, uh, which is an interesting city that, that doesn't get a lot of publicity, but is a very interesting Afro-Asian city. Work with kids there and just help people. Uh, there's so much money to be made in photography now that I want to help these kids, whoever they are, um, you know, learn to take pictures. And I love it, it's a buzz, you know. Yeah, it really is amazing how much you are giving back to these people, and I'm I sure they're so. really grateful. I, I hope so, I hope they just continue to enjoy it. And I don't really care at the end if eight of them, you know, they all become barristers and brain surgeons and doctors or whatever they want to be, if they love photography, uh, and more importantly, if they have confidence. If this has given them some confidence, some self-confidence, some belief in themselves, then, then I've succeeded. That's, that's really the important thing. Photography is almost secondary, that it's given them a belief that they can do, go in to, you know, photograph Shakira at an international pop concert. You know, if you can do that, if you can go into Deep Sloop where things are pretty funky and get good pictures, then you can do anything. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Thank you.